It's a move that's being called a game changer for the crypto industry. On January the 10th, the US Securities and Exchange Commission, or SEC, approved 11 spot Bitcoin ETFs. Previous Bitcoin ETFs were futures-based. Those derived their value from contracts that speculated on the future price of Bitcoin. These spot ETFs invest directly in Bitcoin as the underlying asset. Enthusiasm for the new spot Bitcoin ETFs saw the price of Bitcoin spike when the ETFs were launched. I think if we just look at the first week of what happened, the first week itself, the inflow or the asset under, under management for Bitcoin ETF is almost is 28 billion, it's almost 30 billion. And for gold, it's 95 billion. So just the first week, Spot Bitcoin ETF has already achieved 30% of the total asset under management for gold ETF, right? And it's already 2.5 times of the asset under management in silver ETF. The volume that you are seeing right now, it is still, I would say, muted. And there are definitely more to come in the next few months to a year. However, Bitcoin prices have fallen from the two-year highs. Assets in the new spot Bitcoin ETFs are made up of physical Bitcoins, purchased from crypto exchanges and held via custodians like Coinbase. When a client or someone places a buy order and it's executed, the actual physical uh, underlying BTF is then purchased and custodied on behalf of that client. These ETFs actually buy the underlying Bitcoin uh, from the cryptocurrency market and hold them uh, in custodians such as Coinbase. And this uh, spot Bitcoin ETFs tracks a uh, benchmark or index, just like how traditional finance works. The spot Bitcoin ETFs are listed on the NASDAQ, NYSE, and the Chicago Board Options Exchange. As long as a retail investor, they open a brokerage account, be it on our platform or uh, other platforms, as long as they uh, have uh, set in place and accept, accepted the risk disclosures, they'll be able to buy the ETFs as long as they have uh, money deposited into their brokerages. Buying a spot Bitcoin ETF allows investors to gain exposure to the price of Bitcoin without the complications and risks of owning Bitcoin directly. This means you don't have to worry about setting up crypto wallets and accounts with crypto exchanges. If you own digital asset, you need to have a wallet. You have to deal with private key, public keys. So you either own the wallet yourself or you can put it, um, which we don't um, recommend, into a custodial wallet on the exchange or you could buy it through a platform and you know you still US dollar in, US dollar out. But after all, there is a wallet that's somewhat need to be managed with private key and public key versus owning an uh, ETF. For Zan, the ease of owning a spot Bitcoin ETF acts as a diversification strategy. Due to the macro developments and also the expansionary physical and monetary um, policy, as an investor, I think it is prudent to allocate a certain percentage of the portfolio into digital assets. How much um, percentage or allocation of the entire portfolio should be exposed to digital assets? I would say it depends on the returns objective and the timeline. The range could be as short as you know, a retail um, investor who's looking for internal months or years, all the way to the extreme where you have family offices looking at generations. But ETFs also charge a basket of fees, so it may cost more to buy an ETF than Bitcoin directly, especially in the short term, and if you're planning to trade it. If you're buying a Bitcoin, you're just paying transaction fee. Right? But you're buying a Bitcoin spot ETF, there are mainly three baskets of fee. One is the spread that you will be paying, the transaction fee, and also asset management fees. So the fees obviously will be higher than just owning one Bitcoin. So investors have to take note of a few considerations, starting with expense ratio, which is the cost of, of for holding, holding these ETFs, trading commission, which is the cost of buying and selling uh, these products. Um, other factors include liquidity, uh, brand recognition, as well as uh, AUM, which is short for assets under management. 
In a bid to gain market share, many of the new Bitcoin ETF offerings often come with low fees or even temporary fee waivers. But while spot Bitcoin ETFs are a relatively low-cost investment vehicle, market watchers say investors should still practice caution. So the cryptocurrency market, it's a scene that is extremely dangerous because it's filled with fraud and scandals. I think investors have already forgotten just in the past few years alone, we've seen the collapse of several firms. Well, it can definitely affect in a way because sentiments tend to sour. Bitcoin can actually swing downwards extremely violently and that could cause a huge depreciation in the holding for these spot Bitcoin ETFs. So Bitcoin is actively trades 24-7, 7 days a week. But these spot Bitcoin ETFs are only available for trading on market open days or only on weekdays. Investors who buy into these spot Bitcoin ETFs um, are unable to change their buy or sell orders over the weekends. So if anything happens on Saturday or Sunday, we could see huge upswings or downswings once the market opened on Monday. It's an additional layer of volatility, given that the new ETFs are backed by Bitcoin itself, meaning they'll also be affected by Bitcoin's past roller coaster price movements. Bitcoin has high volatility because they have no intrinsic value. So the value of the Bitcoin itself is really driven by demand supply as well as sentiments. So if the sentiment is high and go up really quickly and go into a huge bull market. But when sentiments turn or when liquidity shrinks, like when the Fed starts increasing interest rates, we'll see huge downswings. Out of the 11 Bitcoin ETFs initially approved by the SEC, Coinbase is custodian for eight of them. Analysts say that this creates a concentration risk. I'm sure they have, uh, these custodians have set in place um, a lot of cybersecurity and digital risk to ensure that these assets are securely safe, be it like coal or hard wallet. But if custodians fail or um, they run into some problems, I think we might see some issues in the ETF market as well for these uh, spot Bitcoin ETFs. Coinbase says it understands its unique position and is committed to keeping the Bitcoins under its custody safe. The good news is that these ETF issuers took us through an extensive process uh, of diligence which lasted months and months because they also wanted to provide uh, you know, sound and trusted uh, counterparties and custodians. We're uh, you know, publicly traded on NASDAQ in the US and so we provide you know, big four audited statements as any public company. And within that, you know, we uh, keep our uh, customer assets uh, ring fenced. We don't move customer assets without their permission. There's also other legal factors like there's trust structures that, uh, you know, make those client assets bankruptcy remote as well. Despite Bitcoin's inherent risks, analysts say the approval of spot Bitcoin ETFs in the world's largest capital market is likely to spark a new wave of crypto products. Spot Bitcoin ETFs are not approved for offer in Singapore to retail investors. The Monetary Authority of Singapore says those choosing to trade these products in overseas markets must exercise extreme caution.